So we're just a few days away now from the Walking Dead, the ones who live finale, and I absolutely cannot wait for it. It's going to be incredible. Um, there's a lot to expect from it, and we're in a state of unknown, I guess, at the moment because we have no idea what's going to happen. You know, obviously that's a good thing, but. We have no clue what direction this could go and we have no idea if there's going to be a season two or not. I mean, I don't think they can end all of this in one episode. You know, this can't be the end of Rick and Michonne's story, I don't think. I will make a video as well um, this week about there potentially being a season two and, you know, reasons it should happen. Um, I'm going to try and make a video every day now leading up to the one through the finale on Sunday um, and then I'll give my review and my thoughts on it once it releases. Uh, so I cannot wait for that. Um, but yeah, today I'll be talking about the episode 6 trailer we got um, after episode 5, obviously. Um, and there's a lot to take from it. There's a lot that um, hints at a season 2 as well, which I will get into in another video as well, which I'll go into more detail in. But uh, if you do enjoy this video today, please like and subscribe and let's get straight into it. So, obviously the finale for The Ones Who Live is on Sunday. Uh, the episode 6 trailer gives us a lot of details and information that we can take away um obviously michonne is going to be the one sneaking into uh the base obviously this is going to be the cascadia base which they uh rick had, has been working on he, he was working on that with thorn for many years obviously uh he was uh, tasked to do that uh, and work on that base so of course they're going to go back there now uh, obviously rick's going to go in normally tell them michonne died he was the only one that survived the cr the helicopter crash um and then Michonne will probably sneak in with Jadis's armor, uh, that she t or probably took off her once she uh died in episode f at the end of episode five, um. So yeah, this is gonna be more with Michonne sneaking in as a soldier, no one knowing she's in, with Rick going in and getting the echelon briefing, uh, the meeting, which I cannot wait to see because I think it's gonna show a lot. You know, we're gonna get a lot from this echelon me uh, briefing. Um, and it's going to tell us what the CRM truly do. We know what, well, we know what they truly do. We know what they're like, um, and what their, their intentions are for the world, which they obviously lie about of, well, Jadis lies about as well, because their intentions are bad. Uh, and I think this echelon briefing is going to, like he says, like General Bill says in this epi in the trailer, that it's going to open his eyes to, uh, I guess, a bigger picture. Um, and it's really interesting what it's going to be. Uh, there is a picture and a scene in the trailer where Michonne is obviously in her armour and she looks kind of shocked and surprised behind the helmet looking at something um, on the screen which has like uh, A and B or something on it. Um, I think it says like extraction A and extraction B or something like that. Um, and yeah, this could this could mean something. Um, it, it means something important, obviously. I, I'm not too sure if it's going to be the echelon briefing though because it seems like Beale is giving that echelon briefing to Rick personally one on one and I think he did the same thing to Thorne as well one on one and it wouldn't make sense to get them all into one room and tell them about that so I think that might be something different and something that would make Michonne look that shocked and surprised I think would be uh, Alexandria now the map doesn't really that it, that is shown on the screen doesn't really end, indicate to it being Alexandria that they're going to destroy but I said in my last video about you know the return of Gabriel that Gabriel at the start, at the very start of the last episode, seemed very worried and scared, and it seemed like it was taking place in in like the present time, and maybe that could, and there was more than one helicopter, and I think that that could be them destroying Alexandria, and that could be on the screen. Watch what Michonne is seeing, could be them planning um an attack on Alexandria, um I think Bill is obviously going to get this information about Alexandria before I think Rick and Michonne are going to get to the dossier before they destroy it. I think Beal, General Bill already knows about Alexandria and I think there is something that's going to end. I think there will be a cliffhanger of Alexandria being destroyed um, and that's going to be really interesting. That's obviously going to lead into more stuff and you know season two and potentially more going into the future with this spin-off with all the characters returning. I think Alexandria being destroyed isn't too big for the group but obviously with a few characters like Aaron and Gabriel being there still it's gonna have a massive impact obviously because Alexandra has a big impact on all of our favorite characters because it's where they started this big story off so it's gonna have a big you know impact on the story if Alexandra does get destroyed because if Michonne and Rick are seeing that then obviously they don't know that Judith and their RJ and their family aren't there you know that they don't know that they're at the Commonwealth so it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens um 
But I do think that that might be them going to d- that that plan, that thing that Michonne sees is them going to Alexandria to destroy it. I'm not too sure, though. It might be something else. But I do not think it is the Echelon briefing because I think that's something that they do one on one. Um, I think Michonne's going to get sort of led into this place um, where she sees this on on the screen. I don't think she's going to because I think she'll maybe get off track and she has to go with like other soldiers just to make it seem like, you know, not suspicious. But it's going to be really cool to see. Really interesting to see. I'm really interested in how they're going to end it because I'm I'm pretty sure they've done various and variety of different endings so the the main one doesn't get leaked like they did with uh, season seven when Negan you know the lineup they did many different scenes and deaths for that so that the real one wouldn't get leaked. So that's going to be really interesting to see. I think it will end with a cliffhanger. I do think Morgan will come back at the end of this episode. But this this season six this episode six sorry trailer does look it looks epic it looks so cool I cannot wait till Sunday now it's going to be really cool to see you know we're not sure if this is truly the end of Rick and Michonne which is why I'm going to do a video every week no every day sorry leading up to this episode because this could very well be the last episode this could be the ending to Rick and Michonne's story overall and it's sad to say that but I also say it with a bit of you know, hope, because I don't think this is. Personally, being asked the question, do do I think this is the end of their story? I do not think it's the end of the story, because I think there's a lot more to go into. Uh, You know, AMC are getting loads of fans back, and, you know, new fans as well, and I think Rick and Michonne are the main, they are the main part, well, Rick, anyway, is the main part of this story. Um, And, yeah, I think one of them could die, and I think the most likely that could be is Michonne. I don't think she will die, but out of the two, if there were one to, was one to die, I think it would probably be Michonne, just because we've already had that feeling of Rick dying, sort of, and I, it just wouldn't make sense for Rick to die. So I think Michonne, it, there is a possibility for her to die in this episode, but, you know, I don't think any either of them will die. But if there was a chance, it would be her. But yeah, overall, this episode does look really cool. You know, they're going to be sneaking into this Cascadia base, and I think that they will get the dossier, uh, I think they will destroy it. Um, like it does show them looking successful. Obviously, they're going to show us that, but I do think that they're going to get to it and destroy it too late because I think General Bill's already sort of read the details and already seen Alexandria because you know Jadis is, hasn't come back and I think he already he already knows that she's dead. So he's already obviously, or maybe he's already seen these files way before when she first ripped them up. Maybe he already saw them a while ago, which would be very interesting. And I think that it will end with Alexandra being destroyed. I think that's going to make the most sense. And I think Michonne seeing that, like that scene that we see in the trailer of her looking shocked behind that, behind her helmet. I think she is seeing a plan to go and destroy Alexandria um, or plan an attack on them because obviously Beale knows now because he's seen Jadis's dossier of Alexandria and stuff like that so yeah the trailer does look really cool um I can't wait to see the ending of the ones who live if this is going to be the end I just, I don't know how this can be the end though of this story overall there's, there's just too much to get into uh the CRM isn't a story that you can just end in six episodes you know the whole Whisper arc lasted for a very long time. You know, it didn't just last six episodes or one season. It lasted a very long time. And the CRM has been hinted at for so many years in the Walking Dead universe. And it would just be it would just be very lame and dull and boring if this was the end of the CRM overall. It just wouldn't for a for a you know, a group that has been set up to be the most dangerous and like end game type of group we're gonna see in the Walking Dead and for them just to end in six episodes like this, it wouldn't make much sense. And for Bill as well to, to be the main villain who's appeared in barely any ep- episodes. I know he's going to appear a lot in this finale, but it's just not enough, you know. He's it feels like he's going to be the big bad of this whole thing, and um, yeah, I think it's going to end in a way that sets up a lot of other stuff in the future. Um, but there is something I want to make. I will make a video on the triple P card uh, because there is something in this trailer with Thorn where she's going to pass this into this room and it has a whiteboard on it and it has a lot of writing on it and there is something that says ppp extraction which is quite in- interesting uh to dive into and i think i do have a theory on it and of what it could be and what it could mean uh not only for the characters like heath you know i think we might get an explanation i don't think we'll see him but i think we'll get like a slight explanation to it um but yeah it's going to be really interesting to see i cannot wait for this finale um I think it's going to be an epic ending for this season and I think it will lead us into a lot more for the future. 
So yeah, if you, you did, did enjoy this video today, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.